Page, this is my wife, uh, and an individual in her own right, Claire Page, um, and we're going to tell you about a book we've written on preaching. Um, Claire, tell me a little bit about this book, let's have a chat about it. Oh, right. Okay, okay then. Uh, well, the book is about preaching, which uh, traditionally takes a kind of monologue form. We're actually thinking about uh, how you can break out of that and use dialogue much more within the teaching setup of a church. Yeah, the, the interesting thing is, when you look at it, um, the two words we use for a sermon, sermon and homily, both come from words which originally meant conversation. Serma in Latin and homileo in Greek. So the sermon as a conversation, as a dialogue, is nothing new. It's actually going back to the roots of what teaching was all about. But um, yeah, hopefully it's, it's not going to be a dry and dull book, is it? No, we've read a lot of those, uh, but this definitely isn't like that. If this uh, person's only going to read one preaching book, this is the most entertaining book they're going to read on the subject. Uh, it was, it's full of fun and uh, wit and jokes and uh, cartoons and stuff like that as well, showing the greatest moments in sermon history. Uh, and the whole book is uh, devised around a fictional character, Henry Sermon. First of all, we look at the uh, 1800 years or more of uh, his medical history. Uh, then we go forward into uh, looking at the diagnosis of his aches and pains, the symptoms, why he's groaning a bit these days. Uh, and then we look at the treatment, the possible ways of uh, uh, making the teaching in church a more healthy, uh, sort of enjoyable process. Uh, and finally, we come up with some more sort of uh, creative, wacky ideas uh, using arts, creativity, drama, uh, visuals uh, and so on, uh, that for people who don't want to even uh, produce a sermon, there's no reason why you should, uh, it's not uh, hugely in the Bible as we point out uh, near the beginning, uh, and so we're packed with ideas uh, and useful for people at all sorts of levels, whether they've preached for years or just getting going now. So we really hope this is a book that's going to engage people's interest, that is going to really uh, help people with a problem that we have about the sermon and whether people are actually listening and engaging with it and really encourage people to teach the Church of God in, in new ways. Uh, Christians need discipleship. The very first followers of Jesus were disciples. They need teaching, they need training, but there are a whole range of ways in which we can do that, which include the sermon, the traditional sermon, but actually include a great number of other things as well. Anyway, thank you for this little conversation. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. It's I've very nice meeting to you for you. Too. Yes. Yeah. Who's looking after the kids? <laughs> we go. Yes. <laughs>